Hello, singing friends. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning. And if this is your first time here, welcome to the party. My name is Michal Tauber and I will be your vocal coach for the next 15 minutes or so. Today we are gonna be doing a reaction video to Dimash and I'm not gonna try to pronounce his last name because you guys always at me when I mispronounce things. So this is something that you have been requesting since I started doing reaction videos and I haven't done it yet because I felt like the field was very littered with many vocal coaches who have reacted to him in the past and I didn't know what I would be able to add. But since you guys have kept on asking, I want to do this for you in the spirit of the holidays. So we are going to do that today. We're going to look at the song SOS. Before we jump into that, however, I have a holiday request for you. There is a cause that is near and dear to my heart. I talked about this in my last video. There is a little eight-year-old boy, he's about to be nine, and his name is Jordan Rhodes, and he is in desperate need of a kidney transplant. If you have type A or O blood, I am begging you to please sign up for a donor packet and see if you are a match. All you have to do is go to living donation at wakehealth.edu. That's W-A-K-E health.edu. I'm gonna put all of the details in the description box below and they can get you started on that process. And if you are not willing to donate a kidney, which I completely understand, you can also help by sharing his story. The more people that hear about him, the better of a chance there is that he will find a match in time. And you can also donate to his medical expenses, GoFundMe. So again, all of the details are in the description box below. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for anything that you can do to help. All right, on that note, let's jump right in and take a look at Dimash. So Dimash is a Kazakh singer who was trained in opera but decided to go into contemporary music instead. And he is renowned for having a six octave vocal range and singing in 12 languages. If that's not impressive, I don't know what is. And apparently he rose to fame by competing on a singing competition television show in China. The song that I'm looking at today is SOS, which when I read the lyrics and translation, seems to be about existential issues. What it means to be a human being, why are we here, what is this life, why do I feel like an alien outsider? And if you know me, you know that these are questions that I struggle with on the daily. This is something that I really enjoy thinking about. And so of course the song was very appealing to me on that note. So let's take a listen and see what we can glean about his singing technique and style. I'm going to stop it there for a moment and I do apologize for stopping the video. I know people always get mad at me for interrupting the performance, but I do want to give a little insight into his technique. So I love that he has such a nice, breathy, gentle, intimate tone. I find that this is one of the hardest ways of singing where you're really opening your the bellows as i would say so you're really separating your vocal cords and they're touching very very lightly and you're hearing a lot of air coming up between them so it's almost like you're whispering right and there's just the slightest bit of vocal tone as your vocal cords are touching very lightly and he has that very nice controlled even healthy sounding vibrato so i find this is the hardest way to sing to get that really really nice light breathy tone so we get that Ah, right, that, that aspiration behind the tone, and I think it's just very, very beautiful. The other thing that I notice is that he really drops down into that low range, ah, ah, right? So immediately he's showing off his amazing vocal range by dropping low and then going up high. Woo! 
So there he has a very, very strong high head voice. That right, that's very operatic and it's this very high head voice, but it's very connected. You're not hearing any of that breathiness. So that's something that's very, very difficult to get. So already he's displaying this incredible range. He's going from his low voice to his high voice, and he's displaying his ability to use all of these different tonalities, that nice breathy sound where his chords are very, very open, and then that very connected, zipped up chord when he gets to that powerful head voice note. <laughs> So another thing that I really like about this performance is that he is so emotional. So you can hear him gasping between his notes and yet his pitch doesn't suffer. So when you're really allowing your emotions to bleed through and really feeling this passionate internal connection to the music that you're singing, a lot of times that will affect your execution. And yet he's so spot on in his technique that you can really tell that he's well-trained and really in control. And yet he's able to be emotional and this, you know, conductive of this very emotional performance. So it's this amazing, balance between being in control and sounding like he could be out of control at any moment and that the the train is going to go off the rails because he's so overcome by emotion and that's a, a knife's edge that's very very hard to ride successfully <laughs> Well, he has a lot of very, very classical technique in there, right? He has that, which is like very, very operatic. It almost reminds me of the opera singer in the fifth element, you know, <laughs> that like crazy alien performance. And then when he goes up for those high notes, they're so, so high and yet he's so powerful on them. Let's take a listen to that again because I want to hear the notes that he's hitting there. Yeah, that's really, really high. That's hard for me to hit. And I mean, I have a pretty high voice. That's really, really high. <laughs> wow, that's an E6. That's very, very high. Very impressive. Side note, is that Drew Barrymore in the audience? <laughs> That's so random. Love her. Very, very impressive. So like I said, I think his technique is impeccable. He's able to go throughout his entire range very, very smoothly and seemingly with very little effort. His pitch is so 
exactly on and his voice is so clear and powerful even in his very, very high range. And you hear him doing this incredibly acrobatic stuff, but he does it with such great ease. And he's also very, very emotional, like when he takes that really dramatic pause at the end. So I think all of the elements of an incredible performance are there. And I'm definitely interested in watching more of his stuff. Thank you so much for recommending him to me. Um, I can see why he is as popular as he is. And so many people have requested this video. He definitely has an incredible instrument. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you here next week for another singing video. Until then, happy singing.